Hey everybody. Today I'm going to be taking a look at Trom Jaro. It is a trade-free operating system and it's based on Manjaro Linux. Their catchphrase is designed for your brain but you can install it on your computer. No more ads and trackers consuming you. No free trials, no bull crap. That's not what it says, but you can read it right there on the screen. Now, when you come to their site, which is tromjaro.com, I'll be sure to include that link in the description below. This is where you come. It's a beautiful web page. I like the interactive background here. And then you can scroll down. And one of the things I like about this distribution is that you can choose a layout. I know that Manjaro's had this for a while, and I know that there are other ones out there that do the same thing, like Makulu Linux does it. But this right here, Trom Jaro can replicate most of the well-known OS layouts out there. And then you can scroll down here. This thing comes with a plethora of beautiful backgrounds. And I will show those to you once we get over to the desktop. And then down here, it's got custom made icons for thousands of applications. And then you can also choose a theme. You got a theme switcher and you can select between light and dark with 10 accent colors or install any custom theme that will work with pretty much any Linux app out there. And then it's extremely customizable. You can change it and get really your personal look that you're looking for. Their desktop layout is very simple and intuitive. Everything is in your face, so you don't have to look around for settings, volumes, workspaces, apps. Multiple different layouts. You can change it up to really make it fit what you like in an operating system look. You've got your settings manager, you've got a software manager, automatic backups of your system, and then you have the ability to save sessions as well. And it also has a heads up display. You can press alt when the app is in focus and if the app supports it, you can quickly search through the entire menu and go exactly where you want to. Some apps support it, some don't. You can kind of play around with that if it's something that you're interested in using. And then by default, Tromjaro has set up basic gestures for your mouse, touch pads, touch screens, you know, maximize, restore windows, minimize, tile a window, show virtual keyboard, show the apps launcher, move to another workspace. Then you've got master the files. An operating system should make sure that all files can be preview or edited. No hassle, double click that file, that's all it needs. Images, videos, torrents, documents, and then down here, control the web. Since most humans spend most of their time online and the browser should be your friend, you can browse the web without trading. What they've done is they've customized Firefox to make it trade free, to block most of the online trades, which is data collection, tracking, ads, geo blocking. Everyone should be able to access any website or scientific papers without trading anything in return. On top of that, we think people should be allowed to download videos, audios, photos from any website or save websites for later or offline use. And some of the ways they utilize this inside the customized Firefox is Privacy Badger, Sci-Fi Hub X, uBlock Origin, Wayback Machine, Sponsor Block, Video Download Helper, Lib Redirect, Bypass Paywalls Clean. And then master of the basics. You should be able to record your voice, screen, take notes, share files, communicate with friends and so forth from the get-go, which you can right out of the box. And then of course, send files, communicate, stay private, control at distance, bring the web home, explore, follow, and then install anything. Since the ad remove software also contains trade-based applications, they have created their own software center that only contains trade-free apps. They review and test all these apps and you can install them from their website directly if you choose to. Things like Easy Stroke, Publi, Wiki, GTG, Web App Manager, Chrome OS Theme, Write, and Ungoogled Chromium. I have a lot of people all the time ask me, can I get Ungoogled Chromium? They make it easy right here. And then down here, they've got this is a trade free project. Now, if you click on that, it opens up this page right here that says trade free, the purest form of free, the ones who offer should not ask anything in return. The ones who receive should not have to give anything in return. And then it comes down here and it kind of shows you the team, who and what creates the problems that we have in society today. And what they're saying is they have we have many problems in the world today. Corruption, climate change, violence, wars, monopolies, mafias, lack of health care, inequality, addiction, and substance abuse, slavery, poorly made products and services, homelessness, environmental destruction, poor education, lack of funds for scientific developments, refugee crisis, terrorism, famine, stress, crime, and so on. And no matter what 
part of the world you live in. I know I live in the United States. I have it a whole lot easier than a lot of other people out there that are watching this video right now. And I think if we came together as one and followed some of the things that they are talking about here, the world would be a much better place. And they ask some questions. Who or what create these problems? What pushes humans to behave like that? What part of the environment? Humans, environment, and trade. In short, trade creates most of the problems we see in the world today, and we want to make it obsolete by creating trade-free goods and services. This will remove the toxic environment that pushes people to create problems. And then you can come down here, and it's got what is trade, and you can click on this arrow, and it'll go through detailed things that you can read about each one of these subjects. I really think if you are interested in Trom Jaro, you definitely zip on over to the trade free part of their site and read it. It's got a lot of great information in there and it's better than some of the things we read on a daily basis. So I'm telling you, go over, check it out. Well, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go over to the desktop. And if you download Trom Jaro, throw it on a USB or open it up in a virtual machine, this is the screen you're met with. You're met immediately with Calamares installer open. I'm going to go ahead and cancel it because we're just going to run it in a virtual machine for this video. And as you can see right off the bat, you've got a panel up top. It's got desktop files, documents, music, pictures, video. And then over here, you've got your two different desktops. And then, of course, you've got your date and time, battery, sound, and things like that. And then over here, you've got Firefox files. You've got your system monitor. You've got add and remove software, settings manager, trade free apps and then video liat documentaries and courses and then if you come down here and click it opens up your app launcher as you can tell this has got a xfce base and then they've kind of created the layouts around that now the first thing i do want to show you is if you right click on here and go down to desktop settings I want to go ahead and show you all the backgrounds this comes with once those populate you scroll down through here you've got plenty of backgrounds and they're all beautiful so i'm telling you if you get a chance and you do download this and take a look at it go ahead and check out these backgrounds because they're all beautiful they all add a little bit of a touch to the desktop and they definitely make it look really nice i'm going to go back down to the rocket i kind of like the rocket and then of course you can adjust your menus here and then of course icons over here so I'm going to go ahead and close out of that now if you wanted to change the layout on this machine what we're going to do is look at that first just click here and you go down here to layout manager and there it is right there Trom Jaro layout switcher let's go ahead and open that up and you've got six different ones out of the box you've got a windows like launcher you have the mx like you got the default which is the one we're on right now you got the top x gnome like and then mac os like you just click on it and what it does is it switches on over you keep your panel up top and then you've got your dock down here i think i'll go ahead for the remainder of this video and just leave it set up like this now what we're going to do is come back down here and you can go through all applications you've got about me let's go ahead and open that up this is where you put all your information in. I like that mugshot. Put your name, home number, all that. Let's go ahead and cancel that. Back up to all that. Accessibility, add and remove software. Let's go ahead and open that up. And if you're used to PayMac, that's basically what you have right here. What you do is you want to go over here, go to preferences. Now, one thing you do have, you've got AUR enabled out of the box. You've got flat packs enabled out of the box. And if I remember correctly, they also have the chaotic AUR enabled out of the box. Don't quote me on that, but you do definitely have AUR and flat packs enabled out of the box. And then you can come over here and do a search and install anything that you might need there. So let's go ahead and close out of that. Let's come back over. Appearance, you got themes, icons, and fonts. Let's go ahead and open that up. And here's where you would change all your styles. You can change your icons right here fonts and then your settings if you're familiar with xfce i'm probably going over things that you already know a ton about come back down you can run app images it's right here all you gotta do is download the app image and you'll be good to go there bluetooth adapters apps menus and category manager bulk rename calculator cleaner color picker default applications discs drivers and kernels let's go ahead and open that up you can come in here there's the kernel right there 
Let's double click on that. You're running 5.15.71-1, which is the LTS. Now, once you get this installed, I do believe you can actually update the kernel if you choose to, but you would have to actually install it on bare metal as opposed to just be running it in a virtual machine. So we'll close out of that. Come back up here. We've got accessories, application finder, password manager, virtual keyboard, development, education, graphics. You've got color picker screen recorder, internet. You do have web browser. Let's go ahead and open that up. This is their customized version of Firefox and it has opened up. Let's go ahead and make that full screen. Tromjaro, web apps, educational, tradefree.org. Or you can enter an address right here. Let's just do, let's see if we can do a standard search. We will look for eBuzz Central and it brings up eBuzz Central. And we're using trom.tf is our search engine i guess that is a trade free search engine and it looks like it got everything from quant some of this might have been cached but i do like the look of that that is definitely something i'm going to take a little bit more time and play around with i do like that i like the the way it searches and we could do files images so if we click to images i bet they load slow because it is and well that ain't too bad but yeah definitely take a look at the web browser when you get a chance and trom.tf and there's another one I'm going to go over with y'all. I found a new search engine. My next video will cover it actually. Privacy, security. You know what? I'm going to ask you in the comments below. And this will pretty much dictate if I'm going to do the next video on this. Would you pay $50 a year for a search engine that gave away none of your information and was encrypted from search to their servers and encrypted from their servers back to you in all the information they gave you. Would that be worth $50 a year to you? Let me know in the comments below. So let's go ahead and close out of this. And we've got file manager. Let's go ahead and open that up. And we do have a package update available. I'm not gonna do that right now because we are in a virtual machine, but I wanna make this a little bigger. And what are we using here? We are using Thunar File Manager 4.16.11. Nice, lightweight file manager, stays out of your way. I love the icon theme. I'm digging the overall look of this operating system, y'all. I really do like it. Let's go ahead and close out of that. And you've got your settings. You've got your trade-free apps right here. Let's go ahead and open that up. And they have 650 trade-free apps. We've got Ocean Audio, Gnome Web, Revelation, Rocks, Torrential. Now, Torrential must be a torrent downloader. You can load more. There's Olive, the video editing software, GIS Weather. So, yes, it would definitely take a look at that. I'm, I'm very impressed with this distribution. I like the direction they're going with it. I like the overall feel of it. Uh, let's go ahead and open up a terminal and see if they have HTOP installed. They don't, let's check out top. And it shows right here, uh, at rest with just the terminal open, we're using about 893 megs of RAM. I've only got three gigs issued to the whole machine. It's snappy, it's quick with three gigs. I would be interested to see what it does installed on bare metal, I bet it does real well. That is just a quick look at Tromjaro. I'm telling you guys, it's a beautiful distribution. I think if you get the time, you need to zip on over, download it so you can take a look at it. It's beautiful. It's functional. It's based on Manjaro. So Manjaro seems to have got a lot of their issues fixed here lately. I haven't really been involved in their forums, so I couldn't tell you what the connection with users is. I don't know if they've improved that or not. I couldn't really tell you, but if you're interested in a, a great looking distribution, XFCE based, gives you the option to change your layouts, trade free operating system, has apps that don't ask for anything from you, and a decent little addition with their customized Firefox browser, I'd zip on over, download it, take it for a test drive. And then if you do, let me know about it in the comments below. Do me a big favor before you leave today, please like, subscribe, or follow my channel doesn't cost anything and if you end up not liking me you can always unsubscribe if you like the channel and enjoy the videos that we are producing you can support us by becoming a member to the channel buying us a cup of coffee throwing us a donation on paypal or zipping on over to patreon and becoming a patron to the channel those links will be in the description below as always thank you for watching my video and i will see you in the next video